Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we'll discuss Pearson rank correlation, which is an important topic from the perspective of statistics. Let's discuss what's in it for you in this session. We'll start this tutorial by discussing the monotonic function. Then we'll move on to discuss Pearson rank correlation and the formula for calculating rank correlation. Then we'll work on an example to get a clear understanding of the topic. So let's get started. monotonic function the term monotonic relationship is a statistical definition that is used to describe a scenario in which the size of one variable increases as the other variable also increases or where the size of one variable increases as the other variable also decreases the rate at which an increase or decrease occurs does not necessarily have to be the same for both the variables that is to say that a monotonic relationship can be a linear relationship such that the rate increases or decreases for both the variables Now let's discuss three types of monotonic function. Monotonically increasing. In this function, as the variable x increases, the variable y never decreases, as seen in the graph. Monotonically decreasing function. Here, as the variable x increases, the variable y never increases. And the last one is non-monotonic. As the variable x increases, the y variable sometimes decreases or sometimes increases. Now we'll discuss Pearson rank correlation. The Spearman rank correlation is calculated to check the agreement on the ranking of the results between the two groups. Without the consideration of normality or equal variance of data, the Spearman rank correlation coefficient focuses on the differences in the rank orders of data rather than the differences in the means. The formula to calculate the rank coefficient is shown here, where rho is the Spearman rank correlation coefficient, di is the difference between the two ranks of each observations, and n is the number of observations. The value of the coefficient will always be in the range of plus one to minus one, where the plus one will show the perfect association of the rank, and the minus one will show the negative association of the rank. If the value comes out to be zero, it means that there is no association between the ranks. Now let's move on to an example to understand this concept better. Consider the height and weight of the sample of five students as shown here. The first step would be to rank the data in the descending order. The highest mark will get a rank of one, and the lowest mark will get a rank of five. Now we'll calculate the difference between the ranks. As you can see, the student A has a difference of minus two, which is calculated by subtracting five from three. Similarly, you can calculate the value of all the d and then square the d value to obtain the positive value of the differences. The sixteen here is the sum of the value of the d square. Now that we have all the required value, we'll substitute the values in this formula, where rho is equal to one minus six sigma d i square divided by n n square minus one, where d i is the summation of d square value, and n is the number of observation. So substituting this value, we'll get the value to be point two, which shows that there is no association between the ranks. Using the same formula, you can calculate the association between the ranks of the any given data. So with this, we come to an end of this session on Pearson rank correlation. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and happy learning. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.